In this video, we'll write the balance net ionic equation for SRI2 plus K2SO4. This is strontium iodide plus potassium sulfate. The first thing we need to do when we balance net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see right away I have two iodine atoms here and one here, and then two potassium and just one here. So it looks like all I need to do to balance this equation is put it two in front of the Ki, the potassium iodide. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. So compounds with iodine in general, they're pretty soluble. I'm going to write AQ. If you know your solubility rules, compounds with potassium, very soluble AQ. That means aqueous, they're going to dissolve, dissociate into their ions. Sulfates in general are soluble, but in the case of strontium sulfate, this is an exception, so this is insoluble. That means it won't dissolve. These two will react. It'll form a solid here. This will be a precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube. So that's a solid, and then another potassium compound, very soluble, AQ. We have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that'll give us the complete ionic equation. Strontium on the periodic table, it's in group two, so it has a two plus ionic charge. The iodide ion, one minus, we have two of them. So we'll have SR2 plus the strontium ion. I'll write the states later. Let's not do that now. Plus two iodide ions, two I minus. Potassium is in group one on the periodic table. It has a one plus ionic charge. And the whole sulfate, good one to remember, that's going to be two minus. So we have two potassium ions, two K plus, and then that sulfate ion there. SO4, 2 minus. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. So we'll just have SRSO4, that's strontium sulfate. And then we said positive, negative. So two potassium ions and two of those iodide ions, I minus. This is the complete ionic equation. Now we'll cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. In the reactants, I can see I have these two iodide ions right here. In the products, I have them again. Those are spectator ions. Cross those out. Two potassium ions, two potassium ions. Again, spectator ions, we cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation here for SRI2 plus K2SO4. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for SRI2 plus K2SO4. You'll note charge is conserved. We have a two plus, two minus. That adds up to zero, net charge of zero. This is a neutral compound here in the products, net charge of zero. Count the atoms up, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for strontium iodide plus potassium sulfate. Thanks for watching.